Hello everyone, so you may be asking, why is Rancho wearing a cone again? Well, it's because he has an injury and he kept licking it and making it worse, so now he has to wear this cone. It started last weekend when I noticed a wound on his private parts. It was nothing big, but it was festering and it didn't look too good. So on Monday I took him to the vet and the doctor didn't really like it. She checked the wound and she discovered a pocket that had formed under the skin. She tried to see if there was any foreign body in it, but she couldn't find anything. So she just cleaned it and we got some ointment, hoping that would be enough for it to heal. Then last Thursday we went there again and the vet wasn't very happy with how it was healing because there was still pus coming out of it and it basically looked just like the first time we went there. She still couldn't find any foreign body in it, which is good news. She cleaned it and she said it needed antibiotics and some anti-inflammatory drugs. So this is what Rancho has been taking. And today we went there again and I took my camera with me so that you can see how it went. This is Rancho at the vet's office and here I'm trying to lay him down so that the doctor can inspect the wound. It did look much better today, much smaller, but it definitely hasn't healed completely yet. She took a sample from the wound. Rancho was so brave and he let her stick her forceps under the skin once again although he didn't have as much patience today as he did the first two times. She couldn't find anything again, so we're hoping it's not a grass on. For those of you who don't know, a grass on is a very sharp grass seed that can be difficult to find because they can burrow into the skin and they can migrate within the skin. If it is a grass on, that is buried deep in the tissue, he might need surgery, but hopefully it's not. It does look better now, so we're optimistic. Apart from that, Rancho is completely fine. He's full of energy, like always. He just can't go swimming and he shouldn't run too much because of the antibiotics. And we're gonna see the vet again on Monday, and hopefully he'll be fine by then. Thank you so much for watching and we will keep you updated.